Good, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> oh shit. There it is. You been really quiet for five minutes? She's gonna be quite the same. Alright, <laughs> like, you just calm the fuck down. <laughs> you keep barking, I'm gonna put you on Gumtree. I wouldn't put her on Gumtree, just because nobody nobody would buy her. You keep her for an hour, realize that you're an absolute <laughs> loot riot. You are a little riot. <laughs> Alright, I won't stick you on Gumtree. You can stay with me, just shut up for five minutes, alright? You gonna be quiet? Okay, I'll be five minutes, maybe. Apologies in advance for any barking or squeaking of toys. I have a puppy, just in case you didn't know. And she's a needy little fucker. But she's cute as hell. Aren't you? Aren't you just the cutest little thing ever? She likes to play fetch for four hours every single day. Go! So that's 90% of my life. <laughs> anyway, what are you saying? YouTube. Um, I guess welcome to the first ever video, vlog, whatever you want to call it, um, of the channel. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just creating this channel. I don't really know how to introduce this channel. I'll do YouTube introductions. You know what I'm gonna do? This will get likes. This will get likes and subscribes. The puppy. I'm just gonna use you. I'm gonna use you for your cuteness. <laughs> All right, sorry, I won't use you. All right. <laughs> See what I mean? Little riot. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I'm just um, I'm just creating this channel just to document what is basically going on in the life of me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you okay? Said you're you're gonna be for five minutes. Deal. 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 No deal. 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 Good girl. Deal. Good girl. Right. Sit. I love you. I love you. Hey, go. So, what is happening in the life of me right now? So, for those of you that don't know, I think most of you will know though, that the UK is completely in lockdown, so no gyms are open. So, um, I'm lucky enough to have a pretty decent home setup. We've got a pull up and dip station, we've got a flat bench, we've got you know, 47 and a half kilo dumbbells, 30 kilo dumbbells, we've got 200 kilo in plates. It's a pretty decent setup if I do say so myself. Very, very happy with it. Um, but yeah, what am I training for? What is training like just now? I'll give you a, a quick run through of that. So, um, me and a good mate of mine, apologies for the pup again, she's needy. Um, me and a good mate, Matt, we decided uh, that we really want to do something to take us right out of our comfort zone. So me being a wannabe past bodybuilder, and then Matt being a 7 foot, 300 kilo powerlifter. He's not actually that heavy, but he is that tall. Um, Endurance events, cardio is completely out of our kind of norm. Um, so we decided that we're going to raise £4,000 for charity and we're going to do two different endurance events. So in April, we are going to be running our very first marathon. So that's what we're currently training for just now. Um, and then after that, once that's complete and boxed off, we're then going to transition over to more cycling based training. Uh, because in August we are going to be uh, we're going to be cycling the length of the UK. So that's over a, the route that we're going to be taking. That's actually over a thousand miles. So we're going to need a new horse and a new set of, you know, twins. 
<laughs> Twist. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to need a new set of balls and a new arse um, after that. So, if that's not a good enough cause to donate some money, I, I really don't know what is. Um, but yeah, current training setup just now um, is four resistance sessions. So, that consists of a push, a pull, a lower, and then a full body. Most of the time though, in that full body, I like to chuck in some sort of leg movements if my legs aren't too beat up from the amount of running that I need to do um, and from that actual intense low session that we do. Um, running wise, uh, we do three different runs. So one is like a, well it's progressive, but right now for this week, it's a 15 minute run um, at a steady pace. Um, Run two is intervals. I can't remember off the top of my head what the intervals are, but last week it was three six minute max effort intervals. And then I've actually just boxed off the first run of the week this week, which was 10 20 second max effort hill sprints. So my legs are a bit beat up from that. But like as I said, the runs, they're going to be progressive. So as the weeks go on, it's going to increase in intensity and volume and things like that. So yeah, looking forward to that. Looking forward to um, to just completing the marathon in all honesty. Like, like what I said at the start, this is way out of our comfort zone. Um, endurance stuff, especially long distance endurance stuff, just, it just sucks. It really does. Uh, but again, it's for a great cause. So. Yeah, I will, um, I will put the GoFundMe link in the description. And again, it would be hugely, hugely appreciated um, if you could go and donate as much as you possibly can. But yeah, other than training and playing four hours of fetch pretty much every day, taking the pup for the walk and training the pup, and then obviously work on top of that, um, I don't do much else. There's no real kind of travel plans. There's no plans to really do anything. Go and play hide and seek with the pup, play fetch with the pup, feed the pup, train the pup, train myself, go for a run, go get a break from the pup. That's life, so these walls are going to be bloody exciting, I can tell you that. But anyway, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed. This is going to be like a, a kind of day in the life kind of opening vlog. So enjoy. Ready? Steady. Don't cheat. Go. Kelpie break. Yeah. This is a bit of patch me though. Yep. You're just showing off now. Show off because you've got the ball and I don't. So the next few clips are from Monday. So Monday is a busy, busy checking day for me. So I just thought I would kind of time lapse this because nobody wants to see me do two to three hours of check-ins. And then after check-ins, it's playtime. So this is the first session of the week. The first session of seven sessions for the week. So it's push focused. And that, my good friends, followers and fans, is 47 and a half kilo flat press and what you're about to see in this next clip is me just completely failing i meant to get eight to ten reps here look at the state of that first rep wow second rep is probably the best one third one a little bit of poo comes out and the fourth came just get in the bin yeah, terrible. Oh, he's got his top off. He means business. The joys of training from home is one, you don't get any distractions. People come up to you and talking to you until you get to train half naked. But anyway, uh, I think this is plus 30 kilo. So yeah, feeling good, looking good. This kind of saved the session, to be honest, because that overhead press put me in a world of frustration. So yeah, that kind of saved the day, luckily. 
And I just thought I would get even more naked for all the fans out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is how I was looking after that session. Um, in all honesty, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. If I can maintain this look for the entire year with obviously the endurance stuff that we've got going on, I'm going to be one happy lad. I definitely can't pose, so there's a reason that I stopped bodybuilding. But yeah, I'm happy with the condition. I'm happy with size. Happy with kind of overall performance. I feel good at this weight. I feel good at this condition. So yeah, that's going to be the goal for the years to hold this. And we're on to the very next day, getting morning cuddles and kisses from the little riot. No joke, this is a consistent thing. She wakes me up every morning like this. Obviously, I don't sit on the kitchen floor, but she jumps up on my bed and goes wild. It's pretty cute. Wait, go. And break. You're getting better. Good girl. Almost. <laughs> Good girl. And here we have another topless Fitch. I'm too good to use. Anyway, this is the second resistance session of the week, the third session of the week. Pull. Currently, my favourite um, movement is the seal roll, dumbbell seal roll. I absolutely love it. We superset this with banded face pulls. Beautiful, brutal superset. And then after the seal roll and face pull superset, I then got a little bit naughty and superseted these inverted rows, which again is a personal favourite of mine, with uh, chin-ups, so underhanded pull-ups. Um, naughty little superset that was, but yeah, next week I'll definitely look to add you know, 10 to 15 kilo to this movement. I felt really, really strong here. Um, so yeah, exciting times ahead. This is my evening's entertainment now. It's a couple hours of playing fetch. Hey, Kelpie. And we just gonna be playing fetch. Yeah, you need to bring the ball to me though. I'm not gonna come and get it. Anyway, that is, she's actually biting her bed right now. Jesus, no, leave your bed in your crate. Don't pull that out. Anyway, that is the uh, first vlog, first video up. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I know it's nothing too exciting. It's basically me just talking to my puppy, me training topless, me playing fetch with the puppy, me then talking more to the puppy, and me just talking to my phone. But hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, if you did, like it. If you really liked it, subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't like it, you've got some constructive criticism then constructive criticism is always welcome, isn't it, Puffer? But if you just say your dog's annoying or Fitch, you're annoying, then that's not really constructive because we're not going to change, are we? No, we're just going to constantly be riots. But anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I will uh, I'll speak to you soon, I guess. Bye. <laughs>